Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Haley. Today I am very excited because we are doing one of my favorite types of videos, empties. And if you've been following me for a while, I do empties once a season. So winter, spring, summer, fall. My last one I believe was in December. And so now we are in March. It's past March 20th, which is actually my dad's birthday, first day of spring. And I have empties for you from between December and March 20th. It's a really great mixture of skincare, makeup, lifestyle-y, cleaning products, everything that I've been using up and just been keeping in a little tote bag here. Let's just get into it. Okay, this first one I am very excited about. It's the Bath & Body Works Winter Candy Apple Moisturizing Body Wash. You guys, I forgot about this until I saw this in the empties bag. This is so good. For one thing, Winter Candy Apple is my favorite Christmassy kind of scent from Bath & Body Works. I wonder if it still smells like this if I open it up. And you can tell, I, like I really smashed this thing. I used up as much as I could. It has vitamin E, aloe, aloe, we say aloe in Hawaii, shea and cocoa butters and coconut oil. I loved this in the winter. It is actually super, super moisturizing. It's a beautiful body wash. I just wish it weren't so expensive. If this was like at the drugstore, I'd be buying this constantly. I should actually go to Bath & Body Works and see if they have other scents in this now that I might like because the formula I actually really loved. It was very moisturizing, easy to shave with. And of course the scent is amazing. I will say the packaging, I only had it for maybe two months tops, probably more like a month and a half. And it really starts to kind of wear and peel off at that red sparkly part, but that really didn't bother me. I just really, really love the product and it's big. And they have their normal like gel body wash. This one obviously is different. It's like a cream kind of body wash. I really, really liked it. Okay, this next one is a cleaning product. And actually someone commented on my, I don't know if it was my last empties video, some recent empties video talking about these. So this is the Kirkland 152 pack ultra clean laundry detergent pods. And my husband and I like to get these because of the cost. You're getting a lot for your money. My husband does catering and he also washes napkins for a catering event he does one to two times a week. And so for him, it's more cost effective to use these and he's not super concerned about like it's smelling super nice this doesn't have a smell. I will say that, and this is what that person had commented on, these, if your washing machine is too full, which we live in a condo, so we have a very small washing machine, if it's too full, it'll almost not break apart and then it the pod will get stuck to your clothes and, and be all plasticky and just not great. But we found that if you wash the clothes again, um, obviously not with a pod this time, or you just use water on that area, it does come off because they are supposed to dissolve. It's just kind of a pain when it does that, you know what I mean? And if you left it too long without noticing it, I feel like it could possibly stain. So I don't know, we still buy them just for the purpose of my husband napkins and they are black and everything so the the chances of anything like that showing up are really small we are using the persil pods now and i do like those more that hasn't happened with those um, although we try not to overstuff our washing machine but i know that persil also has like liquid detergent so maybe i should try that too we do like these but just know that's kind of a warning they're not my favorite in the world but we like them just for the cost johnson's baby oil if you you guys are not on the baby oil for eye makeup remover train. I highly recommend you get on it because it's pretty inexpensive for baby oil usually. And this lasts you for months and months if you're using it to remove makeup. I also use it to like shave and stuff too when I don't have a shaving gel or something that I'm using at the time. So baby oil is a really awesome multi-use product. I mean, it really would be more cost effective to get it from like Walmart because I know that they have their own Equate baby oil brand because Johnson's can get expensive though. I mean, it can be like, I feel like up to $8 sometimes, maybe even more where baby oil used to be cheap. Like I feel like it used to be under $5 for baby oil. Anyway, I do really like it for eye makeup remover. I no longer buy like regular specific eye makeup remover anymore because it's just a waste of money. And especially if you have makeup that's hard to get off, the baby oil works way better anyway. We have the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Hand Soap in their apple cider scent. 
My husband absolutely adores these, especially because they have all their different like seasonal scents. This one we actually got on clearance at Target. And that's what we tend to do is like after that season is over, we'll buy discounted of Mrs. Meyer soaps for the next year for that season. And we'll just kind of keep them in our bathroom cabinets. My husband loves these. They irritate my hand. Um, if you're new here, I have contact dermatitis on my hand. I don't even know what causes it at this point. We've been trying to figure it out for like four years. I kid you not, it's been four years. I can't believe it. But we don't totally know. This is something that sets it off. So I try not to use it unless I absolutely have to, but my husband really loves it. So we use two different soaps, you guys. As, especially because the soap that I use tends to be very expensive. So I will say, I'm trying to think of this scent. Yeah, this, it does smell like apple cider. This would, it smells very fall kind of apple cider though. I feel like there's a difference, maybe, you guys might think I'm crazy, a difference between like fall kind of apple scents and wintery apple scents. The body wash we talked about, definitely a winter kind of apple scent. This one is definitely more of a fall, which makes sense with the color of the pack. Okay, we have the CeraVe Hydrating Toner for normal to dry skin. I loved this, you guys, and I recently repurchased it because I like it so much. It is newer, like within the last one to two years. It does what it says it's gonna do. It does not strip your skin. It does not have alcohol in it. I just take a cotton pad and like wipe it over my skin after I use cleanser and and it works really, really well. I've had some serious dry skin on my face recently, and this has really, really helped with it. So definitely love this. Hey. Speaking of hand soaps, we have the O'Keeffe's Working Hands Hand Soap. This is the hand soap that I use for my contact dermatitis. It's probably the only soap I've ever used that doesn't super irritate my skin. It is just extremely moisturizing. It's unscented. It's very thin. Thick. It almost looks like a lotion when it comes out, but it is soap. I love this stuff. Like I said, my husband uses the Mrs. Myers. I use this and I try to keep it at every sink. I even have a sink in my classroom and I keep this at the sink in my classroom too because really when I tell you every soap irritates my hands except this one, they really do. So this is the one I need or my hands just flare up. Soap is not the only thing that causes it though. So we don't totally know again, like I said, but I love this. If you have super sensitive skin, this stuff is awesome and the Working Hands hand cream is also amazing. One of the only creams that really, really helps my contact dermatitis. Anyway, if you have those kinds of issues like me, get this, it is so good. I've seen it at Walmart. They have it at Ace Hardware, which we have an Ace Hardware like across the street now from where I live. And so it's awesome. When I run out of this, I can just go there and get it, but it is pricey. Okay, now I have the Olay Fresh Outlast Body Wash with notes of birch water and lavender. I have loved this body wash for years. It is very hydrating. It doesn't cause sensitivities in my skin to flare up, but really what I love it for is the smell. It smells so good. I don't even know how to explain it. I mean, it has birch water and lavender, so maybe you can imagine what it smells like, but this is very easily accessible at the drugstore. If you've never smelled this, it smells amazing. Like if I take a shower and then I go somewhere right after, I actually get compliments on how I smell based on this, but it's not overpowering. It's hard to explain, you just have to smell it. The Kiss My Lashes But Better in the Style Bear Affair. These were in my yearly favorites. These are probably my favorite like whole strip lash. I've been very into cutting strip lashes into half lashes recently, but this is one that I think the whole strip looks really pretty. I get a lot of compliments when I wear these. I get a lot of people asking me if they're my real lashes because they're very fluttery and they kind of just look like your lashes but a little bit more amped up so I've had a lot of people be like are those fake lashes or real because it's a little bit hard to tell and I'm like they're fake lashes but I love them apparently these are like a social media fave I've never really seen people talk about this but maybe it's on TikTok I'm not on there so if you're looking for fake lashes that are more on the natural side but just make your lashes look really fluttery and beautiful go for these these are awesome Okay, we have another cleaning product, the Swiffer Sweeper Wet Heavy Duty. We have had these for a very long time. We have a Swiffer, we hardly ever used it because we only had tile in our bathrooms and everything else was carpet. But if you've been following me for a while, 
we actually changed all of our carpets out. We took them all out and my husband put down like a vinyl flooring that looks awesome. It looks like wood, but it's not. And so because of that, once a week, I have to kind of like mop it because it starts to, you know, you're walking on it barefoot. Hawaii is one of those places where you always take your shoes off inside. I have never not taken my shoes off inside. So that's what, just what we do here. But you know if you go a long time without a long time. If you go too many days without mopping, it's your just feet feel dirty when you're walking on the hardwood floor. So I just, I feel like I'm constantly having to mop, which I think I wanna get a real mop because this feels very wasteful. We just kinda had these from a long time ago that I think my husband bought. So we've used these up and now I need to look into other options, but they do work for what they are. I just feel like a regular mop would probably be better. What do you guys use? If you guys have vinyl floors, what do you use to like mop them? Cause we also vacuum of course and we can sweep, but what do you do to mop? Okay, I have a feeling you're gonna see a couple of these. This is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Melting Balm. These have become my new favorite makeup remover. I love cleansing balms. I've tried a lot of cleansing balms. Maybe someday I'll do a video like ranking all the ones I've tried, but the Neutrogena is definitely my favorite. I love the e.l.f. too, but the Neutrogena I like just a little bit more. It really is a balm to oil kind of consistency. I wouldn't say that for all of them, even though I think that's kind of how they're supposed to work. This is one that truly like, once it's been on your skin and you add water, it's like, an oil in a good way. It's not gonna break you out or anything, but it really helps to just remove all of that makeup. I love this. It doesn't irritate my sensitive skin. It doesn't have a smell. You get two ounces, so you're really getting a lot for your money. I got this on sale from Target because, oh my gosh, I should have mentioned this earlier. I'm so excited. Kailua Kona on the Big Island, which is the side of the island I live on. I'm from the Hilo side. If you're familiar with the Big Island, I'm from the Hilo side, but I have moved to the Kona side of the island. Is getting an Ulta in Target. You guys, when I say when I saw that sign, I like stared at it with my mouth open for a solid 30 seconds. Again, if you're familiar with the Big Island, we don't really have makeup stores. We have drug stores. We have CVS. We have like Macy's cosmetics counters, but it's not what you're thinking of most likely. Ours only has Lancome, Estee Lauder, MAC, Clarins, and Shiseido, and Clinique. And that's it, that's all they have. Just the regular like makeup counters. We don't have the cool, like now when you walk into Macy's in other parts of the country, it's like a Sephora in there. Th this is not that. So when I saw that, I was like I was so excited. I literally like posted about it on Instagram. I posted about it on Facebook. I was so excited. Anyway, all of that relates to this because I think Target's been clearing out their regular drugstore stuff because they're getting ready to just have the Ulta section as the makeup section. So they had major clearance on a lot of makeup things and I, they're still under construction. I asked one of the workers when it was supposed to open and she said, well, this isn't my department, so I don't know. And I was like, okay, that's fair. But I did notice they've gotten at least one makeup brand they didn't used to have, which is Essence. I know Target sells Essence in other places, but in Kailua Kona, it did not have Essence until now. And I think that's part of brands slowly starting to move in that are at Ulta. So anyway, I'm very excited about that. That was a very long tangent, but this is amazing. If you're looking for a good drugstore cleansing balm, I never have to buy a high-end one again because I love this. I have now the Olaplex number no. four bond maintenance shampoo. My best friend really likes Olaplex. I actually don't know if she still does, but she was very into Olaplex for a while. So for like my birthday and Christmas, she had bought me Olaplex products. There are some I really like. This is not one of them. Honestly, their shampoo and conditioner. I like the con conditioner better than the shampoo, but the shampoo, I've talked to you guys before, I think that I get like dry skin at my hairline and I got it really bad the last time I got my hair done because the person who did it, it's not her fault, it's my sensitive skin. She wanted to make sure that like I'd be blonde on the top of my head as long as possible. So she went all the way to the roots up here, which I've never had someone do. And it really irritated my skin. And so I had like a dry scalp up here for a long time. I was also using like a salicylic cleanser that I think was really irritating it too. 
issue. So there was kind of a multitude of reasons for it, but I, when I use this, it comes back. Like not even just having my hair done like that, it makes my scalp dry. So I don't really like it. Kerastase Genesis Shampoo. This is my normal shampoo. I love this. It is super hydrating. I'm actually using their one for dry hair right now and I'm really liking that too. But whenever I'm having hair issues, it's always when I go away from Genesis. So I continue to just go back to Genesis because my hair always feels the healthiest. It is super expensive though. I sometimes get it in my salon here. The last time I bought it, I bought it actually on Sephora because my salon is often sold out of it. It is really pricey, but for me it's worth it because whenever I go away from it, I have issues with my hair. So I really like this. It does last me for a pretty good amount of time though. I'd say it probably lasts me most of the year. Year. maybe a little bit shy but I think most of the year and like I said it's just super super hydrating oh yeah it does have a smell but it's nothing like offensive it's a pretty pleasant enough smell it's not super overpowering this if you're having hair issues and you're looking for a high-end shampoo that might fix it I do really like this one and specifically the Genesis Kerastase has a lot of different kinds this is their one that's supposed to be super hydrating and that's what my hair needs Oh, we have another Mrs. Myers hand soap. This one is Compassion Flower, so more of a spring kind of scent. I've already told you about these, so I won't go on and on. Yeah, I don't really like the smell of this. It kind of smells like bad perfume. Okay, we have one of my husband's empties now. It's the Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Hemp Peppermint Pure Castile Soap. My husband loves this. My husband loves to use this as body wash. I don't know how he does it, because it's like pepperminty, so it could kind of make your skin kind of tingly, but he loves it, loves it. His mom told me recently she loves it too as body wash. I'm like, wow, you guys are, you don't have skin sensitivities like me. <laughs> but he really loves this. Every time we run out, he repurchases it. He likes to purchase these from Costco because you get two for a better deal. But I think this was a time that we just ran out and I got it from like our local grocery store. You can use this for a lot of different uses. If you kind of read the packaging, it tells you lots of different things you could use it for. You can use it for different like cleaning purposes. You could use this as soap. I've tried to use this as hand soap. Absolutely not. Even the one for babies that's supposed to be sensitive. Absolutely not. Totally flared up my hand. There's something in this, but he loves to use it as just body wash. So I don't know. I wouldn't, but he does. Oh, we have another Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing balm. We have another <laughs> Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing balm. Another one I got on sale. Let's just show you how much I like it though, you guys. We have the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair moisturizer. I bought this because Jessica Braun loves it. And you guys know Jessica Braun's my favorite YouTuber. I love her. I watch all her videos. I love a lot of products she's recommended. This is not one I really like. It's not bad, but you're paying so much money. And for me, I didn't really notice it doing anything for my skin. It's supposed to have like an indigo serum in it with the moisturizer. So you don't have to use a serum, but I really didn't it didn't seem super moisturizing on my skin and it didn't really feel like it was doing much. So I used the whole thing up, but I just don't think it was worth it because it I didn't see a noticeable difference. I'm using a drugstore moisturizer right now that I'm seeing more of a difference in than this, but it could just be because I need something super, super moisturizing right now. And the time that I've been using this, it just, I haven't been impressed and it hasn't been moisturizing enough for me. So this is a pass. We have another Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing bowl. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize I had so many in here. Ooh, okay. We have the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. And this is the one that has the regular black liquid liner on one side and a little fine green tip on the other. I never honestly use the green tip side. I bought this at TJ Maxx and I always say, if you wanna use this eyeliner, which it's one of my favorites, I always like to look for it at TJ Maxx because they have it a lot, but this time they only had this one. And I was like, well, one side of it is still the normal liquid liner, so I'm gonna buy it. And I did, and I only used the black side and it worked for months and months and months, as long as a normal liquid liner. Don't sleep on TJ Maxx and their makeup section. I know a lot of people talk about it, but there's some actual like really good hidden gems in there stuff like this so I was really happy I bought this and I got it for way cheaper I think I got it for like under ten dollars so this was really good we have the Milani conceal and perfect long wear concealer I don't like this as a concealer <laughs> 
Uh, but I used the whole thing up, but let me tell you how I did it. So this was pretty creepy on me. It just didn't look great. Not the best concealer I've ever used. I love the Natasha Denona High Glam. I'm like everyone else, I really love it. But when I find a concealer I don't like, the way that I tend to use this is I'm one of those people that still uses concealer to highlight the face every single time I do my makeup. So like I said, I do it here, here, here on my nose and on my chin to like highlight the face with a cream. And every concealer I try that I don't like, I use this for and it always works really well. This one was in the shade Nude Ivory. I think it was a lighter shade. So when I had foundations that were a little bit darker than I would like, I like to use this to kind of balance it out and highlight the face with it. So I did use it up and it worked fine for that. I didn't have any issues with it looking weird, but under my eyes, just cause I have a lot of lines under my eyes, it just didn't look good. I would not repurchase that. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have another one. See, I don't really pay attention to what I throw in there or how many I've thrown in there. I just, every time it's empty, put more in there. But... I have the CoverGirl Micro Fine Brow Pencil. I believe this is in the shade, oh, this is in the shade Honey Brown. I really, really like this. I've talked about it for years at this point, I feel like, and it's really good. It doesn't create too much of a harsh line. You can easily defuse it with a little spoolie. It's not expensive because it's at the drugstore. I'm using the Milani one right now, and I really, really like that one, but it's almost the same thing as this. And I will say that I think the CoverGirl has more shades, if I'm not mistaken. So I kind of would gravitate more towards the CoverGirl because it has more shades like this. The one I'm using in the Milani is the soft brown, and it's kind of like the closest shade match I could find. But I kind of like the Honey Brown because it kind of has that goldenness in it that goes with the blonde that's in my hair. So I, I really, really like this. There's a reason why I repurchase it. I feel like there's one in every empties video because it's so good. We have a Neutrogena Daily Facial Moisturizer. This is new from them in the last year. I love this. It is so great for sensitive skin. It's very lightweight. It works beautifully under makeup. There's no fragrance. It, it says it has a multivitamin complex, supports skin's dynamic barrier without clogging pores. And it, it is, it's great. I will say because I've been having such dry skin, I need something a little bit more right now, but under normal circumstances, I don't know why this is happening by the way, but under normal circumstances, I like to use this every morning and it works beautifully under makeup. So if you, again, are a sensitive skin person, this is an awesome one. I just need more hydration right now. So I'm using a different Neutrogena moisturizer, but this one is great. It's also kind of nice that it's in a squeezy tube. The other one I'm using is in a jar and I, I just, I'm not a big fan of always dipping my fingers in, but this I really like that you could just squeeze it out. Okay, we're nearing the end. Ah, we have the J-Cat Rock and Glitz Diamond Dazzle Liquid Liner in the shade Tuxedo Mask. I don't even have to check. This is a fabulous liquid liner. It's probably my favorite from the drugstore. I believe it was in my yearly favorites. It is a brush tip liner. So unlike the Stila Stay All Day, that one is felt tip, this one's brush tip. Um, I kind of used a combination of both today. Sometimes when I need a more precise line, it sounds weird, but I go for the one with the brush tip more. This one, I will say, I've said it in a lot of videos, it's not the most black formula though. I wish they would make it just a little bit darker because it would be like holy grail for everyone I feel like, but you kind of have to go over it maybe two or three times to make it darker. I don't mind doing that, but if you're in a rush, that might be irritating for you, or maybe you just don't care that it's not as black as it could be. But the actual formula is awesome. It does not budge. I mean, I'm wearing a lot of it today. It does not transfer up. It doesn't get all over your face like some liners do. And I have hooded, very creasy, very small eyes. So it's hard for me to find good liquid liners that don't do that. The Stila does that, and then this one does that for drugstore. It is awesome. So I love it. Highly, highly recommend. I feel like people don't talk about JCAT enough, but they have some products that I really, really love. This is definitely one of them. We have the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. And this is possibly my favorite foundation. I have repurchased this so many times. When I had oily skin, I loved the matte one. Since I've had drier skin, I love the original. This is in the shade... Okay, it doesn't say the shade on here. I think this shade is fair light. It's a little bit too dark for me. I mean, I used it a lot. Obviously I used the whole thing up, but I have since repurchased and I bought the shade fair. And I think that one is a lot closer. I just have a very fair neck. 
is really what it is like if you saw me without makeup my neck is visibly more fair than my actual face and i don't know if that's from the sun or what or if it's just natural so obviously to make it all match i go for foundations that are a lot more fair i used to go darker and if you've really been following me for a long time, I get a lot of flack for a video I did with a Dior foundation where I talked about going a shade darker because my shoulders are dark and wanting everything to balance out. It was actually a makeup artist that told me to do that. I think it worked for a long time. I mean, I never really had people telling me that my makeup looked crazy, but I do think that as I've done my makeup more and more and more and, you know, gotten tips from you guys through comments and continued on this channel that I like to just try to match my neck instead and I so hence I've gone for fair in this one for the next one I repurchased I still think when I'm wearing a tank top it looks crazy how fair I am because my shoulders and my arms and legs do not look as fair as my face and my neck but it is what it is that's okay I love this if you deal with dry skin this is the perfect foundation for you when I had all those dry patches like I said at my hairline when I got my hair done when I was using the Olaplex this is the foundation that covered it up the best because other foundations that were more like liquidy, this is more moussey, just clung to those dry spots and made it look worse. This one actually, because it's more of a moussey, creamy kind of formula, actually went over the dryness and it just made it look a lot better. So if you suffer from dry skin and you haven't tried this, I really, really like it. It's it's good. It is pricey, but it is really, really good. And there's a lot of SPF in it. It has SPF 50. A lot of the time SPF breaks me out really badly, but this SPF is zinc oxide instead of the oxanosate or whatever it's called. That stuff really breaks me out and it's in a lot of like the e.l.f. Woe Glow, can't wear it because it's that and it breaks me out so badly. Okay. We have a candle here. Guys, this candle, it's the Luminous Apricot Scented Candle from Target. It's the Threshold brand. This smells so good. My mom gave this to me and my husband in a like Christmas package and we both were like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. They make a bigger one too. That's a little bit more expensive, but we would totally repurchase this because we really liked it. I think I've noticed that I really, really like fruitier smells and I never picked up on it until recent years, like last one to two years, but this is apricot. And it smells amazing. I love the smell of apples too. So maybe I need to find the right perfume that's like a fruity smell. Cause I feel like I love a lot of perfumes but I've never found like my perfect perfume. And maybe it's cause I'm not looking in like the fruity notes. This is fantastic. And I feel like it's $5 or $10 at Target. Okay, we have another It Cosmetics product and it's a moisturizer. It's the It Cosmetics Secret Sauce Moisturizer. This was my favorite moisturizer for years. It is so moisturizing. It feels so good on your skin. It's very, very thick, but that's what I like about it because it feels so hydrating. I wouldn't repurchase it anymore because I found some drugstore moisturizers that I like just as much that maybe they're not quite this high quality, but they work really well for me. But this is pricey. It's like, is it $65 or is it more? Is it $80? It is very expensive. And I used to repurchase it. I've repurchased this quite a few times. I really loved this when I was on Accutane because it's so moisturizing. So funny story about this. When we did the floors, my husband had to move our bed and when he moved the bed, he found this under the bed. It had like rolled under the bed and it was only half used. It, it was recent, it was from the last year probably. I repurchased it just to remind myself why I liked it so much. And I was like, oh man, I forgot that I had that. I thought I just used the whole thing up. So I used the other half of it up, you can see here. I like really use the other half up. I do really like it. I just wouldn't repurchase it, it's way too expensive. Okay, we have another candle. This is a wintry candle. It's the White Barn Eucalyptus Snowfall. I lost the lid. This is definitely from two or three winters ago. You know, my husband, let's see, what are the notes on this? Frozen eucalyptus snowy spearmint winter lavender with natural essential oils. I remember when we first bought this, my husband loved it. It was like his favorite scent. He loves eucalyptus scents. He really likes those minty kind of scents. And so he loved this and I pulled it back out because we weren't quite done with it this season. And when I lit it, 
he asked me to blow it out. He was like, that's really overpowering. It's giving me a headache. And I was like, but this is the one you loved. I know it was this one. And so I don't know if like our sense of smell has changed or if over time the scent has maybe shifted a little bit. It's gotten old and I don't know what. So if even if you look at it, there's still a tiny, tiny bit left, but I mean, barely. And we're not gonna use the rest of this because we really just ended up not liking it this season. So kind of weird, but he really liked it in the beginning. So if you really like eucalyptus, spearminty kind of scents, you might wanna go and smell this in Bath & Body Works and see if you like it. We have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is a little mini travel size. I got this in a huge e.l.f. order I made, gosh, last year, two years ago at this point, I don't even remember. And it came with the matte one, the illuminating one, and the regular of the little travel size. And I used the whole thing up because I do really like it for filling in the pores in my T-zone. So I used this whole thing up just to use it up and because I do really like the formula right now I'm using the liquid one but this is awesome so it actually lasted me a pretty long time too so if you're traveling it was actually pretty good you just kind of have to dip your finger into it and it did work well so it does a really good job of filling in the pores and it doesn't break me out we have the Maybelline Express Brow I've talked about this a lot I like this but it's almost too pigmented it's like an even if you press lightly, it's almost too pigmented. So like I said, I do really like this, but the awesome thing about this, you already know what I'm gonna talk about, some of you. The spoolie on this is the best spoolie I've ever used. I know it sounds crazy. How is a spoolie that good? It's something about it. It just like really grips onto the hairs and it really helps diffuse the color, which is needed with this product because it is so pigmented. So if you're looking for a new brow product, I do like this. Just know it's gonna shock you a little bit how pigmented it is. Use this amazing spoolie to help defuse it because it does really help. I don't know if I would repurchase this. I definitely like the Milani better and the CoverGirl better, but I did like it. I, if I had it, I would definitely use the whole thing up and that's what I did. Okay, last one, cleaning product. We have the Clorox bleach. Very boring. We officially have all white sheets. Just bedding in general. Our duvet cover is white, our duvet is white. Our towels are all white. Our hand towels are all white. I like it. I really like neutrals. I love like white bedding and towels and everything, but we justify it by making sure we use bleach every time we wash them. And it does really, really work. So I feel like I was in a family that didn't really grow up using bleach much, but TJ did. And I think part of that is like being in kitchens and needing to clean with bleach and stuff like that. And so it really works. I mean, we dump this in. I often don't take my makeup off quite well enough just because I'm in a hurry. The makeup remover bomb, it does a great job. Don't blame that, it's literally me. So, or sometimes I'll forget to get it like down the neck because I do blend down the neck. And so when I go to dry off with a towel after I take a shower, sometimes when I'm wiping my neck, makeup will come off onto it. And then TJ's like, oh no, but we wash it with bleach and sometimes like, I'll still use it for the rest of the week and then we'll use the bleach when we wash it and it still turns out perfect. Like there are no makeup stains on any of our towels or anything. So it does work really well. I can testify to that and I'm apparently the last one in the world to know how great bleach is. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will subscribe and give it a like. And if you're already subscribed, I hope you'll hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Love you guys. Bye.